Hi, this is Jim with Awesome. Today we are going to purge my hot tub. This is really not as difficult as it sounds. We get a lot of questions every single day. How do I do this? How do I do that? So I figure now is a good time as any since I've got to purge my tub anyway. Let's go ahead and do a quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to start this. The very first thing I do, because I have removable headrests, I go ahead and remove the headrests. Just set them off to the side, take care of that. Also of note, my water is completely balanced. My pH is perfect. I have adequate sanitizer. Adequate sanitizer just simply means if you're using chlorine, make sure you've got enough chlorine in the system. If you're using bromine, make sure you've got enough bromine in the system. Um, so we are completely good to go with the water. I'll go ahead and take the cover off. Now I've got uh, five filter cartridges here and my salt cell. So I am just going to leave that there and I'm going to take out all of my filter cartridges and I'm just going to toss them into the water. cartridges are a little bit old so I'm not I want to get them cleaned off very well if you have brand new filter cartridges meaning less than a few weeks old there's no need to run these through the purge process okay so I've got filter cartridges in the tub I've got my headrests off the tub I'm gonna go ahead and turn my jets on low just to get it started now what I'm gonna do is grab my purge product. Of course, we use Awesome. Go figure. My tub is 375 gallons. So we use one teaspoon, one level teaspoon per 125 gallons. So 125 and 125 is 250. So now there's two teaspoons. And then uh, we add 125 to that. We've got 375. So I need three level teaspoons in my tub. It's pretty simple. I just go in, scoop the gel pack it down make sure I've got a nice level teaspoon and then just simply drop it into the tub doesn't matter where it goes just get it into the water make sure it's nice and level and then I'll just shake that get the rest of it off tap it back up now we're gonna go ahead and turn those jets on high and you'll watch here in a very short period of time how the water is going to start moving up. It's going to start doing what it needs to do. It's going to start the purge process. It only takes a couple of minutes to get it going. But it doesn't matter where the, card, where the filter cartridges go. You see it starting to foam up. Pretty good now. And then what we do is we let this go for a full 30 minutes. And we'll come back in 30 minutes and kind of see how much crud came out. Okay, so we are about five minutes into the purge. And you can see we're starting to pull a little bit of stuff out. Now my tub is relatively clean. I purge my tub religiously. Uh, so generally as a rule, when I do a full purge, I don't get a whole lot out. But even though I maintain my tub extremely well, you're still gonna get crud out of the piping system. There's nothing you can do to prevent that from building up over the course of time. The last time we purged my tub fully was approximately six months ago. So in that six months, even though I maintain adequate sanitizer, even though my pH is in balance, even though my alkalinity is fine, my uh, water hardness is fine, my TDS is perfect, we're still going to see biofilm building up. And this is normal. This is going to be in every single tub. Now, this tub I purchased used five summers ago. And when we first did the purge, it was insanely bad. And we're going to see a little bit here. We're going to see a little ring, I'm sure, once we're done uh, with the full 30-minute purge. But you can start to see. And this is where my tub tends to accumulate crud in this corner, right where the filter compartment is. And you can see it. And this is a good thing. This is what we want to see coming out of the tub. The other thing I wanted to point out, and the one thing that you'll notice, is there's not a lot of foam. This means that I put in the correct dosage. I know the exact number of gallons that are in my tub, and I've measured out 
my awesome, per the instructions, at one teaspoon per 125 gallons of water. Oftentimes, when we see an excessive amount of foam, it's we generally put in too much awesome. Less is more when it comes to awesome. So the purge is doing a good job. We're getting some crud out, which is exactly what the purpose and the goal is. We're cleaning out those lines. We'll come back in about, uh, I think we're 23 minutes now until uh, we come back and we'll kind of see where the tub is at. All right, so we are right at about the 30 minute mark. And you can see, I'll start over here. We've got some crud, and gunk, and biofilm that has built up. Get that wing around the collar, this is very common. Now we're gonna get over here, we're gonna see the real nasty stuff. All of that was in the pipes of my hot tub that I thought was so perfectly clean. Yep, all right, so now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna begin the cleaning process and I'm gonna hand the phone here over to my son. We're gonna go ahead and turn those jets off and I'm gonna hand this over to him. Now, we're gonna be playing with some bacteria here. So now that we are uh, gonna go into the cleanup stage, we are going to put on our rubber gloves. I garden a lot, I work out in the yard a lot, so I've got cuts scratches on my hands and the last thing I want to do is get any of this bacteria into my body anywhere. So all as I do is get a rag, a nice yellow rag here. I'll dip my hand into the water and I will start wiping it up. It's really that simple. You want to get this wiped up as quickly as possible. Now if you get this real quick, it comes off nice and easy. No scrubbing at all. I get phone calls oftentimes from customers who say they've really got to work at getting this off. Well, here's the reality. You just got to come in here and do this as quickly as possible. So it just comes right off. Now this obviously is a little bit harder on and I did this intentionally. I wanted you to see, even though this has been not exposed to water, for probably five minutes before I started videotaping. Just a little bit of elbow grease. Not much, and it comes right off. And it's greasy. If I put my fingers in on, on this, it's gonna feel like glue. Very, very sticky stuff, this biofilm. You wanna come over here, Jack, on this side. We're getting all this crud off of here. And this is why you want to wear a pair of gloves. You certainly don't want to get this bacteria into your body anywhere. Now, I don't have any cuts on my arm, so I'm not worried if my arms dip down there a little bit, but I do have cuts on my hand that I want to make sure, again, we don't get the bacteria. But look at the rag. And it doesn't matter if the rag goes back in here or not. We're going to be draining this anyway, and we're going to be spraying it down so it can Go back into the water. You don't have to use 10 different rags. In fact, I've used paper towels to get all this off before. So we've got a good amount of that wipe down. We'll do another, we'll do another wipe down. But this is to get the vast majority, the bulk of it off. All right, so. We have the vast majority of it wiped down. We're gonna have to do this again, but you can you pan out over the water, see all the crud now forming it or just starting to float on the water. Not a good thing. All right, we'll leave the rag right here. Now, the next step in the process is our sump. We're gonna start draining this water. We're gonna drain it out pretty doggone quick. We'll plug that in. this in and then we'll go ahead and drop this right into the tub again my arms I'm not too concerned about I don't have any cuts there 
and we'll just go ahead and let this drain down. It'll take about 10 minutes to drain out. I just drain my water right out into my yard. That's all I do. All right, so we'll come back here um, in probably five minutes once this is drained down a little bit lower and we'll continue the process. Okay, so now I've got the garden hose, put it on the jet mode. We'll start, now that the water is draining out, start hitting all this stuff, knocking it down. It's hard to check, maybe it's over on this side here so you can kind of see. So we'll spray down what we can and then we'll wipe out what we can. Now that the water is used. Okay, here's another thing here too. Notice that the water now just came out of the last jet, just went below that last jet line. What I do is just hit the jet button real quick. Oh, I turned the power up. Turn the power back on real quick. You don't mind. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so now that the water's out of the last jet, you can hit the jet button real quick. Pushes everything out. There we go. Everything's out of the tub. We can go ahead and turn the power back off. Everything's out of the line. All right, we'll come back here in a little bit to finish the process. Okay, so we have the tub completely emptied, cleaned out, good to go. There's a little bit of residual water in there, don't worry about it. Uh, we're gonna throw a little extra sanitizer in uh, when we start the tub up anyways. But now the, the uh, cartridges have been floating around in there, so I want you to see this is all I do. So the cartridges float around in the hot tub, turn on my holes, now you can see right away. Look how, just the difference right there. If you can zoom in, look at the difference. I'll do the difference. Look how dirty that filter cartridge was. And now, my 30 minutes is putting it out. You get it nice and clean again. Okay? So, instead of having to buy a new filter cartridge, we're just gonna get these. Rinsed off really well. And then we're going to go ahead and replace them in the, in the hot tub. So I'm going to finish cleaning all of these up and then we'll come back. Okay, so now that we have the tub completely purged, it is cleaned out, the filter cartridges are clean. Now we're going to go back and reset up the process. I've already gone ahead and put my headrest back on. My garden hose is filling the tub through the filter compartment, which is what we want to do to prevent airlock. It's gonna take, oh, I don't know, a couple hours probably to fill this back up. And then we'll kick the power back on, put the filter cartridges back in, and let the tub heat up. So in recap, here's what we wanted to make sure that we do. We wanna make sure the water is balanced when we start this process, if at all possible. Can you do it with unbalanced water? Yes. Is it preferable? No. So we wanna to try to have balanced water. Adding a little extra sanitizer, pulling the filter cartridges, pulling the removable headrests, adding the correct dosage of awesome. This is key. For those that put too much awesome into their tub, this is where you get a voluminous amount of foam. You don't want that. You saw the foam in the video. It was a good amount, but not excessive. That's where putting in the exact amount of awesome works perfectly. One teaspoon per 125 gallons of water. One of those little jars has 12 teaspoons in it. So in my particular tub, that one little jar gives me four cleanings. Once you have the purge done, then you saw us wipe it down. Initially, 
And then as the water starts draining, it's wiping down again, using the garden hose, knocking down anything that we can. We tried to get as much of the stuff out of the bottom as we possibly could. There was a little bit of residual there, but that's okay. We're going to uh, put a little extra sanitizer in here once we start the tub up. And I do recommend that putting a little bit of extra sanitizer. I use chlorine, so I'm just going to put a little bit of extra granulated chlorine in there, dichlor, uh, just for any potential nasties that come out. In and of itself, that is about it. This whole process took from start to finish. Um, by the time the tub fills up, probably about four hours. But the purge itself, 30 minutes on the purge, five, 10 minutes to get set up, making sure you've got your necessary equipment handy with you, you know, and then about 20 minutes to clean up. So the total purge time is about an hour. And then after that, it's just getting it refilled and heated back up. Again, if you've got any further questions, don't hesitate to contact us at Awesome.